So we got Pazzaroni versus Ford Money. Ford Money with his uh, his new Sheik. New Sheik? I've never seen a Sheik before. I've never seen a Sheik before either. Well, actually, I think I might have seen it in Melee maybe once, like a long time ago. That, but makes, that makes sense. Typically, again, it is a bad Paz, character. though. I have never seen Paz before. Paz? I've actually seen... He's been to a couple Tucson tournaments. Okay, wow. Yeah. I wonder if he's, like, from out there or if he just likes traveling or... Ooh. I assume that he just doesn't come all the time, but I don't know if he's uh, actually from Phoenix. You never know. So it's really nice spacing. He knew exactly, like, where Fox in that angle would end up. <laughs> he's doing that's the melee a, tech chase, a, yeah. That's a good tech chase. It is a good tech chase. Like, it, the throw's got a little bit of a different trajectory, but it works just as well. Especially on spaces, you're not really going to get a conversion. Especially at lower percents. And at higher percents, if they DI the wrong way, it's a lot easier. To yeah, you get better stuff, so. Forward money making this look real clean. And to be fair, um, one thing that I'm not seeing from the Fox is I like to see more is a lot more. Just hold the C stick down. Because with Sheik, if you're under 40%, every aerial will. Like push you just a little bit if you're out against it. Needle was good. Oh, I got tagged. And those will reveal a lot of openings. There we of, go. It's kind of annoying to hold C-Sync down in PM since you actually do an attack. Even if you're dashing, it doesn't do that in melee. Okay. But you can usually buffer it if you do like an aerial C-Sync down or jab C-Sync down. Sounds there. good. Pretty common phenomenon that Triforce players will usually stay within the Triforce. Yeah. Link Man gets to play Sheik. Ganon to play Sheik. Uh, Sheik Man usually stay Sheik. <laughs> Sounds like Sheik's just a good character. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, but uh, what happens when Sheik Man decide they want to play Sonic? <laughs> oh, yeah. Speaking from experience, right? Yeah, right. Just need to go a little bit faster. Dude, so PM Sheik forward smash is actually super good. It, is. it leads to like a free aerial, just like a misty eyed throw would. The only issue is you have to land a forward smash, which is like not the worst thing anymore. Like low percent, you can usually get it off of up tilt. Uh, you can even tech chase with it if you're feeling super ballsy. Like yes. you know you've got that read, or you know they're gonna miss tech. I think grab if they DI the wrong way. Probably, especially on fastballers. The F-Smash can lead into another grab, mm -hmm. which leads into mm -hmm. another F-Smash, which leads into another grab. Ooh, that, that sound effect was weird. Did you hear that? Yeah, it was kind of that. Ford making it look easy. It's not every day you see a, a fox look that dead. You know what's a boot that I really didn't see from that fox? What's up? Uh, Shine. Shine is a little bit nerfed in PM, but it's all yeah. Okay. Oh my goodness. You know Bowser? He's Bowser? Some stuff on Fox. Yeah, I've seen Ford's Bowser before. It's not exactly a bad matchup with the Sun. Bowser's typically a bad character in PM. Yeah, of course. Fox isn't one of his worst matchups. He can crouch and just armor through Shine. Mm -hmm. Very good. Armor through Dare. Like, Bowser's down smash will get you out of a lot of situations that, like, most characters' crouch cancel options just wouldn't. Um, the only time I've ever played Ford's Bowser, I was playing it in Melee. We were playing Bowser Zelda just because we felt like being rebels. Uh-huh. See, it's pretty good. He definitely knows, like, he's a Ganon me. He knows how to space. The lack of speed's not going to slow him down. Right there, we saw Wave Dash back there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Ford is, like... He's got some of the best spacing of our like AZPM mid tier players. This comes with the territory being a what we once thought was a long time Ganon devotee, and oh my goodness! Yeah, I mean uh, Bowser. He's a very scary character. Mm -hmm. if, he's, if he messes you up, he'll mess you up good. Yeah, no platforms exist. That wasn't gonna work in any time, any universe.
but if you look at Bowser on the PM tier list, what you're going to see surprisingly is that he's not very high up there. Right. He's actually very close to the bottom. It's one of the very few characters that people can actually agree on in PM. Yeah. It may not seem like it from here, but uh, some things that Bowser loses to is grab. Grab is his number one enemy. Mm -hmm. And also just facing around him is pretty easy. Throwing out those hitboxes. Is this V Sync correct itself? In the, yeah. The bot or okay? Oh, those planks. <laughs> I guess that was uh, Fox's jab in the first hit of Down Smash, just flanking each other. Interesting. That's one of the most fascinating things about PM. I love learning all the like various interactions between. Characters' options. It, so much of it is just still unexplored. Yeah. There's just so many characters. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh, dude, if he had gotten that kill, like, basically off of Flamethrower and Jab, that would have been nuts. That's it. 2 0 for Ford Money. That's it. Pretty sure.